Hello and welcome to the Carb Watch. This is interesting because I am holding my microphone very differently than I normally do. I normally have a mic stand and I have my hands free to talk, but now my hands are on the microphone. It feels good, ladies and gentlemen. It feels good. Um, I am reminded of being inside right now because of coronavirus and the quarantine and this uh, social distancing. And it's actually taken me back to watching more movies. I thought it couldn't be possible to watch more TV and more movies than I already did, but I find that I can stretch my limits. So I am revisiting some of my favorites. And one of my favorites is Beethoven and Beethoven Seconds. It's about a dog a St. Bernard, I think he's a St. Bernard named Beethoven who wreaks havoc in a family. And it's just, it's just so much fun. And there's a phrase, uh, if you don't know the Rogers family, you know that we are quoters. We quote movies all the time, incessantly. And one of the quotes from this movie was throw in a Newton. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's an air freshener for dirty gym clothes and a gym bag that this family, that's like their project is throw in a Newton. So they throw in this air freshener into a bag. And then it reminded me that fig Newtons used to be some of my mom's favorite go-to snacks. She would eat those fig Newtons like there was no tomorrow. And I thought, what's in a fig Newton? If we're throwing in a Newton, how many carbs are in a fig Newton? Remember, Fig Newton, does that not sound smart? Sir Isaac Newton, fig, which is a fruit, a, a fruit that's high in natural sugars, uh, usually found in Asia. It sounds healthy. It's made from real fruit. Fig Newtons. It is a cookie. So let's call a cookie a cookie. Let's call a spade a spade. It has 11 grams of carbs per serving, which is per cookie, which which isn't bad. I should say per Newton, but... It doesn't sound that bad. I just want to read some of the ingredients for you. Ingredients are figs, bolded figs, which is good. It's natural, made from real fruit. Whole grain wheat flour, okay. Sugar, unbleached enriched flour, which has some B vitamins, okay. Corn syrup, invert sugar, a bunch of different types of oils, soy, there's a lot more additives that go in there. Remember, whenever we think of hidden carbs, whenever we think of hidden unhealthy, we think of additives. Look at the ingredient list. Sugar is listed three different ways. Sugar, corn syrup, invert sugar. This is sugar. It's a cookie. Does it taste good? Yes. Does it have real fruit? Yeah, that's the first ingredients, figs. But what might be better is an actual fig. What might be better are some of the more natural snacks that have fewer ingredients. And it's weird to think that like more ingredients actually cost less. Like a Fig Newton is going to cost less more than a Lara, is it Lara bar or Lara bar? I think it's Lara bar, but um, those particular bars are actually sweetened with dates and cashews. Uh, they're not going to have all the, there's, you can look at the list of ingredients. They're they're small they're simple simple real ingredients are going to be better comparatively so they may have similar carb counts but if you look further into the ingredients um you're really getting more than you're bargaining for with something and i think that's really if you think about the news right now being misled i feel like with advertisements especially with food advertisements made with real fruit big newtons a nutritious cookie so let's call it a cookie, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Andy with the Carb Watch. I do want you to throw in a Newton. Throw in a Newton into the trash can, and let's get some real fruit out there, okay? I'm kidding. This is not sponsored by Nabisco. So um, thank you for watching. Remember that if you are not watching your carbs, your carbs are watching you, and they are watching you so closely as you sit inside all day, as they're just around the corner and just in your reach. So be careful uh, and come see us at Performance Medicine should you want to make some different uh, food options and diet changes during this crazy, crazy time. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next week on The Card Watch.